Our journalist joins Qatari Likhwia forces on the ground in Morocco as search and rescue teams race against time. Iran and the United States are on the verge of completing a prisoner swap deal brokered by Qatar. The Emir Sheikh Tamim meets a key Libyan official as part of a global push for peace. And finally, the president of Spain's football federation, Luis Rubiales, has resigned. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Rescuers in Morocco struggled on Sunday to locate survivors from the earthquake that has claimed more than 2,100 lives and has left remote villages in ruins. Qadari Likhwia forces have been flooding into Marrakesh on multiple flights over the last 24 to 48 hours to help with ongoing efforts to rescue survivors from the rubble. Our Doha News journalist Asmahan Karjuli has joined the Likhwia forces on the ground to cover all the latest updates from Morocco. Now, Iran and the United States are on the verge of completing a prisoner exchange deal which will see five detained U.S individuals head home, with a similar number of Irani detainees heading the other way. The entire move is set to start once $6 billion worth of Iranian funds are unfrozen and wired to banks in Qatar. Doha played a key role to mediate and broker the deal between the two nations as part of a major months-long operation dubbed Shuttle Diplomacy. Doha hosted multiple back-and-forth talks with both Iranian and US negotiators in Qatar to ensure the deal materialized. Back in Qatar, the Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani met Libya's head of the government of national unity Abdul Hamid Mohammed al Dibeba on Sunday. Sheikh Tamim was thanked by the Libyan official for Qatar's unwavering support towards Libya and its stability. Libya has been grappling with a major political crisis since 2011, with multiple parties vying for power. And finally, disgraced president of the Spanish Football Association Luis Rubiales finally resigned from his position on Sunday after weeks of fierce global criticism. The former football chief was filmed giving FIFA Women's World Cup winner Jennifer Hermoso an unwanted kiss during celebrations of Spain's historic World Cup win. However, Rubiales has vowed to clear his name against what he has called an excessive persecution, triggering yet more criticism from what has been described as a reluctant resignation. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.